morning, good evening everyone. Um, welcome to Clairvoyant Conversations. I had a little bit of a tech issue trying to set things up on a laptop, but we've got it going on the phone, so that's good. Um, so what we're going to do tonight, I've got some other cards here that I haven't had out for a while. These are Sacred, Ge um, uh, sacred Geometry cards by Francine Hart, so we'll be using them. Hello, welcome to those that are just joining us now. So what we're going to do is start with a little bit of a collective reading to see what's happening for the week. Oops, I'm just going to pick up some of these cards that are flying out of my deck. Okay, hello, welcome to everyone who's just starting to join. So we're going to pick some cards from the Sacred Geom uh, Geometry deck tonight, also from some of my regular deck. Hi Gail. So let's pick, hi Laura. Let's pick a card for just over the next couple of days. So one here, midweek, and then we'll pick one to do with towards the end of the end of the week too. Hello, hello. Okay. So we'll start with the sacred geometry deck. And I'm also going to grab some cards out of my other one. Okay. So I'm just going to feel into the energy of these cards and what we're sort of getting as a collective overall. Okay, so what I'm sort of seeing is two energies running for the week. One of them I'm seeing as sort of like a heart energy and the other is sort of like an undercurrent. And what I'm seeing is not to get swept up in the undercurrent. It's really to maintain that heart vibration and not to get swept up in um, drama. So let's flip these cards. So we've got Fruit of Life, which is this one. We've got Nucleus, which I have been talking about this sort of energy all week, and it is a very clear picture of what I've been talking about on other shows and with clients. This is really maintaining the energy of your uh, vibration, even down to like an atomic level. So really looking at ourselves as, you know, pure um, vibration. So made out of atom, uh, atoms. Hello to everyone just joining. And the final card as well is the card of the triangle. So we've got the fruit of life. So this is really about starting to um, feeling that you're going to energetically reap the rewards from what you've been sowing. So I really want you to tune into the frequency of this, but everything in these two cards especially is literally like feeling things on a subatomic level starting to vibrate. So really feel that you're not just changing your life from the point of view of, you know, what it is that you're doing in terms of um, just action, thinking about it in terms of feeling as well. So let's pick some other cards for the week from my other deck so that we can dive in a little bit deeper because the other cards, I just find the answers aren't as deep. Hello everyone joining us. Um, yes, we will be picking cards shortly. We're just starting with a little bit of a collective reading. Okay, so I'm just feeling where I'm drawn. If you're also seeing me close my eyes, it's because I'm just tuning into the energy of the card. So these are the cards to do with for the week. And I'll pop these down. Okay. Okay. So the words that I'm hearing super clear for the rest of next uh, next week is just to maintain your energy super clear. So not, not letting anyone overshadow or throw overtones onto your energy or your frequency. So really just using like your own um vibration and feeling if it goes out of whack at all or if someone's trying to you know pull that over you or trying to um, change your thinking also knowing that we are in mercury retrograde that we will be sort of coming on the other side of it on the 12th of july um, this will also will be in the shadow of it for the next two weeks after that as well so let's flip these cards so we have these are really interesting cards so for the next couple of days we've sort of got a little bit of that luxury energy um, and, you know, sort of having clear emotion and everything through, hi Casey, hi Hayley, hi Carrie, Claudia. Um, and then we also have di a little bit more interference from Mercury and that continuing for next week. So let's see tonight if there's anything that we can do to help us to maintain that frequency that we're talking about <clears throat> and maintain us holding our own energy, why this whole planetary retrograde thing is happening. So I'm just going to pick a card to see what we can do to stay in vibrational alignment with our own frequency and to not sort of have that um, influence or corruption to come in at all. All right, let's see what we've got here. 
Okay, so what I'm really starting to feel is the energy of our higher self and our best soul and really starting to feel that energy kind of step down. It's almost like using the heart, like a little frequency moderator and starting to feel what your soul energy feels like and imagining it coming in as a color and that will help to anchor that in. So really like for me, what I'm seeing at the moment is sort of like a blue and a white tone. So I'd be drawing those down like they're pillars and feeling it come directly into the heart and really feeling that vibration start to radiate through my heart and magnetically amplify and fill up my aura. Cause I do speak a lot about auras cause auras are a representation of the energy that we hold. So we're able to read the colors like a language and that will tell us what's going on in someone's aura. So we're gonna flip this card and what's interesting is we've got this card again. So what happens when we get things like that happen is that it means it might be extra hard to sort of hold that energy for next week. So it's kind of like um, a little bit of a warning that there might be possibly a little bit of a struggle collectively. And again, I would associate that more so to do with uh, what we're kind of going through. I just saw a little orb fly past. I'm not sure. Did anyone else see that orb fly past the camera then? It was like a little um, whitish colored orb just fly past. Uh, so yeah, it really just means to kind of hold your vibration super strong. That's what that message means for the collective. So let's jump in and pick some specific questions. So if anyone would like to ask a question. Oh, thank you, Linda. She's just saying what beautiful words. So let's give these deck a shuffle. And I might also mix it up. I'll call. Oh, sorry, lost everyone there. Someone was trying to call me. Um, yeah, so let's pick a card. All right, so if anyone's got any questions. So Sonia, you're saying you need advice uh, on career, please. Let's have a look into this. All right, so this is interesting. The energies that I'm seeing in your aura at the moment, right hand side, I'm seeing a lot of red, yellow on the left. Right hand side is your more masculine external side. It's really about foundation and root chakra as well. And it's sort of a little bit connected to survival. But what I'm seeing with that is there's sort of a split between wanting to make money and a split to do with career and like what is like your, your passion and things as well. So I'm just seeing it's really trying to maintain an energy of that at the moment. Hi, Paula. Hi, Maz. All right, so let's pick a card for Sonia. All right, so what I'm really feeling, Sonia, is just that yellow color. I feel that even though there might be two possible pathways to do with career, I really feel that the one that's drawing your intellectual attention and has possibly a little bit more study behind it, thank you, Sana, um, I feel that that is the one that resonates the highest frequency and the highest energy right now. So let me also just see if there's anything else. The other thing that I'm sort of seeing, I'm not sure if you're feeling a little bit of distraction and things. Okay, so you're trying to leave a cleaning job um, to get into aged care. So that makes a lot of sense with you. Yeah, it's literally like a split down the middle, but I do feel more of a pull to go and study. The other thing that I do feel is that it feels I'm getting more resonance from the upper chakras as well. So I feel like that it connects you more with a higher purpose. And I would say that's more connected to do with helping people. So we'll flip this card. Sonia, this is for you. Look at this. This is so beautiful. This is about you not having to try as hard. What it means by this, it kind of like putting down, um, putting down your tools, putting down your instruments and letting things flow to you. So if there's been a few different courses, I want you to tune in with your heart and with your mind and also with your gut and see which is speaking to you more on a frequency level. See like what it is that you're vibrating more, what it is that draws you to do with um, different courses. And I feel that will help you to, uh, to connect with the right people as well. So let's have a look. Bianca, Bianca Evans, let's pick a card. Uh, okay. Oh, there's things coming up around heart at the moment and questioning. So it's like, I'm seeing a lot of energies to do with the heart, but then it's like shooting up to the mind. So it's not staying in the body. Uh, so what I mean by that is like, it's like your heart feels in your mind at the moment and there's a lot of blue around that. So I'm feeling that it's like thinking about healing or some kind of like resolution would be one of the words that they're giving me. So let's have a look. Ah, oh, thank you, Sonia. She just said, thank you so much. Spot on. Okay. All right. 
So this card that I'm picking right now, I feel that it's really about following your intuition, especially around, um, you know, topics and questions of the heart. I feel like this is about you kind of like tuning in, trusting your sight and uh, let's see what else we're doing. The other thing that I'm really getting drawn to is just touching my heart. So I feel like to bring the energy that you're sending out to do with heart and things, just to really bring it and draw it back down to do, like in your heart and really start to center there. Okay, the other thing that I'm feeling with this is possibly like a little bit of anxiety coming up because when I'm starting to close my eyes and I notice that the breath, it's not quite getting like enough breath in. Um, so yeah, really just focusing on managing how you're feeling as well. And also like, you know, if you do need to talk to someone or you do need to sort of like get that extra um, support, making sure that you reach out. So I'm just flip this. So this is my favorite card in the deck. This is the card of the star. So what's really interesting about this is that she channels the energy from the higher purpose and from a higher place. She brings it down through her body to manifest it on the earth. Um, so what I see with this in connection to what we were talking about is really bringing that energy of the heart back down um, from the third eye and into the heart. All right, let's have another question. Okay, so I am a rose. It's just saying, I've been busy the past few uh, years supporting others and taking time out for myself with a new outlook. Do you see what's on the horizon for me? So as soon as I see that um, question, I just start to see colors connected to do with like confidence. I really feel at the moment it's to focus on your self-worth, really start to build up that confidence again. I'm seeing like a lot of willpower being reenacted. So, you know, things like exercise and um, even possibly like mini makeover, uh, you know, buying new clothes, things like that. I'm seeing a really good at the moment. I feel like it's about building up who you are as a person again and really like rediscovering um, who you are. Uh, let's have a look what we get for cards. Okay. So the other thing that I'm starting to see is I feel like I'm just going into almost like a meditative state. I'm seeing lots of blue around. So when I see blue around, sometimes it's to do with um, healing or communication. Um, sometimes it will be related to other things, but in this state, I feel like really calm. And I feel like this is about you starting to explore your spirituality and starting to really like learn how to attract things into you. This is sort of the energy that I'm getting. So I'm going to flip this. The other thing I'm seeing too, a little bit random, but just before I flip the card, starting to see the energy of a dog. So I'm not sure if that's something that you've possibly been thinking about or where others have been talking about it around you, but I'm just seeing like a dog just run past really quickly. Um, so this is interesting. We've got the card of the moon to do with this. So this is really about you getting into that space that we were just talking about, into that meditation. This can also symbolize EEG uh, brain waves. So really getting your brain into an alpha based um, state. So you can use binaural beats for that, but it really is about like getting into that calmness. Uh, it's about building that sense of purpose and that sense of passion back. It's really about like you getting in connection with yourself at the moment. So I hope that helps. Let's have a look um, at some other questions. Because I'm just trying to get through as many as we can tonight and just keeping an eye on time. Um, so Chris is just asking, um, hi there, can you give me anything to do with my future job and moving house? Okay, so this is interesting. What I'm seeing like connected is more job coming up first. I feel like that there's a lot of energy around that. So let's have a look. All right, so what I'm seeing, I'm seeing a going from thinking about things into feeling things, then feeling things into thinking about things. It's almost like being in two minds about um, about future career. Um, so I feel like it's really to possibly write a list of what you think feels right and then what you think looks right. 
So it's kind of like um, a pros and cons list, but splitting it up into categories because I feel like there's a few different reasons to pick a few different things. So it's almost like about trying to establish a harmony between the different uh, decisions at the moment. So let's feel into what card we've got here with this. Okay, so what I'm feeling at the end of the day is it feels like an energy of the mind calming and an energy of the heart choosing. The other thing that I am seeing is something to do with home. So whether there's an aspect of uh, being around home or around other homes, there's something to do with like houses or homes that I'm seeing in connection with this or whether it might be just, you know, like working from home for a little too. So let's see what else we get in this card. All right, so this is interesting. This is exactly what we just talked about um, to do with like being two minds. So as you can see with this card, we've got, there's a few different things going on, but we do have this sort of like etheric, translucent um, goddess energy as well. So she's kind of like one mind, and then we have the other mind to do with the heart. So this is really trying to get your communication to run in sync and to write your pros and cons lists and try and get everything to kind of flow together. Because I feel like if you were to pick something right now, it might not be um, the right choice in terms of there could be things come up after that maybe weren't thought out enough. So it really is to kind of uh, get that to flow together. I'm also just going to plug in this little power thing because I think I'm running low. So just bear with me for a second. Okay. Joys of Mercury retrograde when your power starts to drain. Um, so hopefully that has changed that. All right, so let's have, all right, so Beverly. Okay, so a card maybe to do with changing direction. Ooh, a lot of this is about you actually uplifting your thoughts and beliefs about yourself. I feel that in the changing direction, I actually feel like it's to put yourself at a higher level to what you currently uh, are at. It really feels that it's like you're maybe not valuing yourself enough like on a, a career level and really start to like write down all of the things that you've achieved in life uh, and really start to kind of like build out uh, your own resume so you know how they talk about you know putting things that you've done on your resume that might not even necessarily be connected with work that are a different skill I just feel like this is a real chance to up level with you but the big part of it is actually sort of shooting higher than what you think you can it's about raising your standards and about believing that you deserve more so that will also attract a different level of a job let's see what we get here all right so I'm seeing like a lot of um communication and things come up like around this job let's see all right so i am seeing in the new situation it's like where you're sort of more in a little bit more of a, a leadership type role or where you're having to uh, speak to groups or speak to to other people and have to give them a little bit of direction and a little bit of advice and we'll flip this uh, this is this is good so we've got this beautiful pillar in the middle this is a card of strength this is about you sort of like committing to self the sun at the top also represents that um what we were talking about before to do with like you seeing yourself in a better light and it's like when you start to believe in yourself and you start to help things to kind of like flow um more smoothly and you really have that sort of straightened arrow you'll get other things start to come in and support you and start to assist you as well all right, so let's see if we can ask. You're welcome, Bianca. All right, Belinda, let's have a look for you. All right, when I start to tune into you, I just start to feel like really soft energy. And it's almost in a way, it's like I'm getting swept up in a daydream. Is that sort of, a sort of part of the field to do with this? So what I'm seeing to do with at the moment is really to explore like the creativity side and possibly that might mean, you know, through art, like painting, different things like that. But it really is kind of like, I just feel like you have a really good creative mojo energy just around at the moment and it's a really good time to kind of tap into that. And it might be like whatever creative outlet it could be through voice, it could be through art, but it really is just 
kind of molding that creative expression and channeling it into something. All right, let's pick a card for you. All right, so what I'm actually seeing, like when I'm shuffling the cards, is it looks like a light coming out of the third eye and I'm seeing it literally like projected. So it's like having the vision of something to create and then going about creating it. Um, so it's like something, it's almost like creating something from you or from your soul energy at the moment. And I feel to get that on paper because it will also bring a sense of self accomplishment. Um, but yeah, it just feels like to get your hands into into color and I just feel it feels really like enriching for the soul is the energy that's coming out to do with guidance for you. So we'll just see what else we get with this. So what I'm actually feeling is like when you get into that, uh, that creative mode, I feel like there's sort of like a stillness that comes in and I feel like it feeds you on a soul level. So it's like, um, it's, it's like the time passes really fast when you're working in this space. So we've got the card of fortune to do with this. So it could even be possible that you might be able to turn some of your creativity into um, some extra money as well. So that's an interesting thing to pay attention to. All right, so let's have a look. All right, Casey. Um, would I be able to have a card play soul trying to uncover my spiritual gifts? The first thing I get taken to when I see this, and it's also one of my favorite topics, is um, I'm getting taken straight to like throat and heart. And the interesting thing is I'm seeing like singing. It's uh, the image out of the movie Frozen where she's, where she's singing and she's sort of singing into the great unknown. Um, so let's pick a card around this because I feel like part of your spiritual gifts uh, are to do with voice. I also feel that others feel quite calm around you and I'm even seeing um, scenes of it's like even almost like a Reiki type touch but I'm seeing hints of hypnotherapy with it. So whether it's about inducing or putting people into calm states, I'm not sure if that's something that you've thought of before but I feel like that it's something that you would actually be really good at. It. Um, so I do see an opportunity around study with that. So let's pick a card. Okay. So part of this is about you finding your voice. It's also about like not hiding behind other people anymore. I feel like it's also just about um, you stepping forward. And I feel like this is your time. Um, it feels like your time to shine with this uh, instance. Let's see. So the other thing that I'm really feeling is just like a lot of healer energy with you as well. So I would even explore things that, um, you know, looking at books and topics on healings, looking into um, crystals and things as well. I'm just going to flip this card. We got the card of abundance. So remembering that we were also talking about, um, you know, possibly doing this for career too. Um, but I strongly encourage looking and exploring um, gifts to do with your voice, but with healing too, because I feel like there is... The possibility to help others to relieve like a lot of um, stress and to get and dive deep into recovering uh, different emotional things that will release on a physical level but I do see like hints of hypnotherapy around it so it's really interesting let's have a look all right so Wendy let's pick a card for you so is it the right time for me to sell my home um, first open on this Saturday. Let's see what energy. Okay. I'm actually seeing the energy of the sun and what I'm hearing is asking for the energy of the sun to come in and bless um, the home opening on Saturday. So just like in a visualization or meditation, just asking the energy to of the sun to reach out and just to help bless the home, make it, um, you know, really attractive, make it sort of seem sparkling in your meditation. And let's have a look what card we've got uh, with this. Okay, so there's something that I'm being taken to that needs to possibly be looked at. Something to do with like near a back step um, of the home. I'm just seeing some sort of blue energy. 
um, I just feel like there's something that needs like a little bit of a tidy up or something out towards the back of the house. It might even just need um, like a crystal or something placed there. There's something to do with the energy that's taking me to this, that it's like looking through the house and everything and feeling that everything's good. But when I sort of get towards the back door, there's a little bit of a, it's almost like a block or I'm pausing to kind of think. So I feel like the energy through the rest of the house flows quite good, whether there's something around that sort of like back door. So whether there's been something you've been thinking about with that, I'm just gonna flip this card. We have the card of dominion. And it's funny because we talk about like home being, you know, our domain or our dominion. Um, what this represents is sort of like a little bit of a scattered energy um, or a little bit of sort of like energy kind of uh, misdirected. So I really just have a look. If there's anywhere in your home that you feel that the energy is out of balance, looking at like what you can do to kind of balance it, whether it's putting um, flowers in that area to kind of like bring a different energy or crystals, or if there's something that you've been thinking about changing, um, possibly looking into doing that too. So I hope that helps. Let's see. Oh, okay, so Kirsty Voigt, you said that you've had a rough few days. I'm really sorry to hear that. Um, am I going to get through the other side smoothly? All right. The word that I'm hearing is transition around that. And again, I've been seeing symbols about the sun for a big part of the day. Uh, there was another show I was on this morning called Beyond Mystic, and we were having messages to do with the sun with that too. Um, so yeah, what I'm seeing with this too is really to... There's a lot that the sun's energy is bringing in at the moment. So it'd be really interesting to check if there's any solar flare activity because sometimes solar flares will actually uh, clear out things that we no longer need in life, whether that's to do with like people and like the real side of them coming out or emotions um, or whether it's to do with, you know, other things that the solar flares are kind of cleansing. Let's see what we can. All right. So what I'm feeling at the moment for you it feels almost like a bit of a, I'm hearing them say the words core wound, um, and I'm seeing like a little bit of red come up around this. So it feels like something to do with the root chakra. So when we look at the root chakra, we're looking into sometimes things that are to do with relationships, sometimes things that do to feel with like survival type things. Um, so I'm just seeing where we're getting taken with this card. The other thing that I'm feeling with this, um, Christy, is to really ground at the moment. I feel like your energy is sort of like wavering and it's almost like forgetting to breathe. So I really encourage to, um, you know, to, to breathe, to ground, whether it's to kick your shoes and socks off, step onto the earth, feel like any nervous energy or any excess energy or even anger, just to let it out and just to let it kind of like pass. Um, so I'm just gonna flip this card. This is a really good sign. We've got that place of peace, but I feel like that other step has to kind of happen before because I feel like some of the energy that you're holding on to, it doesn't, doesn't exactly feel like yours. It feels like it's coming from other people. So it's about also getting back to a place of peace um, within yourself. Oh, Joanne, hello. She's um, watching from the UK. Hello, do you see anything about moving to Australia? I'm from the UK. All right, this is interesting because when I'm looking into this question, I'm getting drawn to the left-hand side, um, which is like the inner feminine. So let's pick a card because it's a little bit harder now with the whole COVID situation. So let's have a look to do with slightly the near future. All right, let's look sort of like in a few months time. What's really interesting is I did see an image of a koala. Um, I do feel that um, your energy would be really happy here. Um, it does feel like that there is, it's almost like your energy singing, enjoying the sunshine. But yeah, interesting that I saw the koala. That was on the left hand side. Um, and I'm just gonna tune in and see what card we get with this. So what I'm sort of seeing for like the next few months is still, and I'm not sure if you, I think you might be in the opposite kind of weather, but what I'm seeing in the next couple of months is still like a little, little bit cold. So whether there might be possibly another season um, over there in the UK in the cold, uh, let's see. 
The other thing that I'm seeing is tying up loose ends to do with paperwork and to do with sort of like signing off on things and making sure like papers and everything are kind of together um, before you come out. That's the energy that I'm getting right now. So let's have a look. Oh, this is cool. So this is the Queen of Wands. So this is really about like her standing in her power. It's that inner feminine. Um, and it's interesting, we had a koala. There's no koalas in this deck because it's not an Australian deck. But I do feel that you do have like a little bit of guidance um, to do with a koala being like a little bit of a spirit animal. So even if you're Googling spiritual meaning of a koala, um, you might get some more information around that. But starting to tune into our energy, starting to place like little objects that remind you of Australia and starting to build that kind of relationship and that frequency. But what I'm seeing happen before um, a move would happen would be like to finish and finalize a lot of paperwork. So whether it's about having a clear plan is what I'm seeing to do with this. So let's shuffle. So I hope that helps. Um, okay, Amanda, do you see me with my own business? Thank you. All right, so what I'm seeing, and it's so funny, um, I'm just hearing more sort of like rap style music to do with like being a boss, but I feel like it's about getting your mindset and your, uh, how would I say, like the physical side of things integrated. Because what I'm seeing is it's like you have the business acumen, you have the mindset, but there's almost like a distraction that comes in. So I feel like it's to integrate the physical um, energy with the mindset. That's the sort of energy I'm getting right now. Let's see card wise what's happening. It's funny, even as I'm picking cards, I'm feeling to pick one to do with the mental side of things and one to do with the physical side of things. So whether there's like two things on offer or two things you're thinking of, um, or whether it's like family, sort of like distracting you to do with business, but I feel like there is some kind of like distraction. If you could sort of like work out what to do distraction wise and brain wise to focus, um, I feel like that things would be a lot easier and the business would be a much higher success. So let's see what we've got to do with that. So to do with mind, I'm seeing things that are coming in to kind of like calm and focus the mind. So whether looking into um, or checking with doctor or naturopath about like supplements and things to do with, you know, like um, focus and attention. Um, with the physical side of things, I feel like there's possibly like a couple of little things to still learn or like they're showing me like books and a little bit of like study or information the other thing i'm seeing is um certificates or like finding out what you need in terms of like business so whether it's like a um, occupancy um certificate or whether it's you know like getting insurance things like that i'm sort of seeing that there's a few things to still uh come into play with that so we'll flip this card so this is beautiful we've got the card of prudence which is really that beautiful seed unfolding and this was the one I got connected to do with mind for you. And then this is the one that I got to do with um, the physical side of things and papers and everything. So with these cards together, it feels like a possibility when you bring both those halves together and both sides of the brain, because this is a lot to do with like integration and to do with kind of like blending, um, whether it's like home and um, business or like family and business. That's sort of what I'm seeing with that situation. Okay, oh, so Stephanie, let's, uh, let's look at a card for you. So, hello lovely, I would love a card. I have so much change uh, around me, it's confusing. Okay, so the image, even when I just read that, is caught up in the feeling of being in a tornado. And I'm just gonna reach to my other deck, the Sacred um, Geometry deck that we've got tonight, which is by Francine Hart. So let's have a look for you. It's almost like I just want to pop my hands inside of this um, tornado that I'm seeing you with and it's like hold you in love. But I can't because I'm over here. But what, what I could recommend is really like just tuning into your own self-love right now, quieting everyone else's voice, making time for yourself and really just just tuning into your own energy, whether it's hand on heart and stomach and just bringing your energy back because you're giving so much at the moment. Uh, it feels like emotionally. So whether you've got friends or family kind of like demanding of your energy or asking, or it's like just turn, even switching your phone off 
it feels too. So let's have a look. I just feel like there's a lot of things being asked of you at the moment. And just like a little bit of chaos and drama happening around you too. Um, so let's pick a card. All right, so I'm gonna flip these ones. This one we have, oh, the Kabbalah. This is interesting. This is really about you sort of like reassessing your life path and really looking at everything in a different sphere. So making like a, a plan for life, having like little bubbles. So like one for health, one for relationships, one for work. This is about you taking stock and about reassessment. Um, and what's really interesting is that when you do that, it kind of feels like all of the energies come together and they make sense again. It's like all of a sudden it turns into a bit of a pie chart. I'm also just going to pick a card to do with um, the other deck as well. All right. I feel like there's a little bit of healing to do with past relationships and things, but more so to do with family. I feel like sometimes people can be like a little bit, um, they might be a little bit brash in what they say. And I feel that you're a sensitive, a sensitive empathic soul. So really learning how to take, not to take other people's things on, but it might be to listen to them, but it doesn't mean you have to agree with them or that it has to start um, any uproar or anything. I feel like it's to like, let it wash off you like water off a duck's back. So we'll flip this. And this is the card of luxury. And look at the beautiful clear crystal waters in this card. You're really not caught up in this card if you work with um, sort of the way that we were talking. It's like really, you know, starting to, to hold your own. Um, and this is a beautiful card. All right, so let's have a look. Oh, you're, you're welcome, Alma. Just trying to click on some of these questions to have a little read. Um, okay, so Angelica, I would love to know if I will ever have the chance to fall in love with a man who loves me as much as I love him. Seems like I don't have any luck when it comes to finding um, true love. I'm sorry to hear that, that that's been an experience in the past. So the energy that I get straight away to do with that, I feel someone standing like around my left shoulder, but it actually feels like a belief system. I feel like it's, it's almost like having this little character on your shoulder, but it's, it's called past belief. And what I'm sort of seeing with that, it's like when you look to the future and you start to tap in and feel hope again, and you know, start to put yourself out there, there's this sort of like little self-belief almost like a little creature kind of like chirping or, or speaking up and reminding you how you got hurt in the past or how you know it hasn't worked out for you what I would really love to see you do is start to change that dialogue that um, language and start to recreate and start to really look at like when did those core beliefs happen um, about that and about love and really start to visualize and feel your cells vibrating and really drawing in um, and energy and starting to create what does it feel like to be in a mutually loving relationship and start to visualize start to create it I don't know if you can feel the energy that I'm starting to create even just talking about this but I hope that it's contagious for you I really want you to start to just look at anything that might be holding you black, uh, back clockwise look at what you can do on a physical level to help clear these old belief systems out so whether it's kinesiology I also offer kinesiology sessions as well as um, private readings, uh, whether you're looking into hypnotherapy to clear out all belief systems, but I feel like it's, it's a little bit about sort of like what you're putting out in terms of an old belief system, but I feel like the core wound happened a long time ago. Um, yeah, so let's pick a card for you. Okay. That's interesting. Even just talking about that energy, I feel that it's starting to sort of shift. Uh, the energy that I'm seeing is coming like around here and it feels more like a higher spiritual love. And the energy that I'm seeing is a peacock. And it's funny, when I look into the spiritual meaning of a peacock, they're a creature that is between worlds. They're sort of like visiting from the spiritual realm. But when we look at the male aspect of that, they're the ones that attract the female. Um, so that's really quite interesting too. So it might also be about you sort of you know, letting or even 
looking at the type of men that you've worked with, um, you know, to do with relationships and things in the past or that you've been with and looking at ones that are really going to put your needs first and where you're not gonna to have to try as hard to, to please them. It's a little bit about changing the type that you've been going for is what I'm seeing with this. And this is interesting, this is the princess of disc. This is looking at things sort of topsy-turvy. This is really about bringing change into your world and coming from a place of balance and power too. And she's really like asserting and standing up and choosing to make change. So I feel like it's not waiting for change to happen, but it's about kind of like getting to the bottom of um, why there has been a series of patterns uh, in relationships and looking at if there's any consistency with the patterns too. Usually if we've had something happen two, three times, um, this is us trying to be told either by our higher self or guides that something needs to change or it's a lesson that has either been carried over from a past life that we haven't learnt uh, and that we're still continuing to finish off. So I'm just going to have a look for another question. All right, Pippa, let's have a look for you. Um, hi, anything about career, please? I've started another course in leisure and health. All right. What I'm starting to see, like as I shuffle as well, is I feel like there's a few things on the go with this. And I am seeing like the, I am seeing like the study and things, excuse me, come up. All right. So what the underlying thing that I'm seeing come up to do with this, Pippa, is it's great that you're doing the courses and things, but I'm feeling that it's about putting it into action on a confidence level and learning to kind of like find your voice with it. Because I feel like it's almost sort of like putting your energy out there and whether something will sort of like get you to step back or um, cause you to kind of like push back a little, I'm sort of seeing that kind of energy. So let's pick a card around this. All right, so what I'm sort of getting is a little bit of, it feels like a little bit of anxiety around it. Um, the feeling is sort of like a little bit of like bubbles, a little bit of sort of like a deer in headlights are feeling like a little bit frozen. So I'm just gonna see what else we get with this card and we'll just flip this one. Oh, this is cool. So we've got the card of the sun. Um, so what I feel like at the moment, it is a little bit to do with cycles and times, but I do feel that there is something to do with like confidence or like it's like when you increase your confidence you're able to kind of like achieve a bit more is what i'm seeing with this the other thing that i'm also seeing for job opportunities they're talking about specific windows of times um to do with this and i feel like it's sort of it's when we sort of start to move into spring is where i'm sort of feeling like new opportunities and things even looking out for a job in the course that you're um that, uh, that you're doing. I feel like you might even be able to secure something before you finish that they might sort of like take you on to do with like past resume, but it feels a lot to do with um, confidence. So really like increasing your confidence and that might possibly lead to uh, a new job before, um, before you've actually finished your study. Um, so Gail, you would appreciate, um, please, I really would appreciate a reading. Okay. All right, so what I'm feeling with you at the moment, Gail, is I do feel sort of like a little bit of sadness or a little bit of, um, there's like an inner reflection kind of going on. What I'm sort of seeing is when I close my eyes, the colors of the room are sort of like a little bit of maroon, a little bit of sort of like a, a latte sort of chocolatey color and things. So I feel like at the moment, if you can work with sort of like, um, doing things that can help to lighten your mood, um, whether it's like playing beautiful music, lifting like vibration, increasing like frequency, having baths and things like that to help sort of like shift things along. I just feel like there's a little bit of energy there that, um, that can do with like a little bit of a clear up. Um, let's see. I feel like it's just gonna help bring more um, positivity into life as well. And the other thing that I'm getting taken to is like throat. I feel like there's more of a, 
um, a tendency to sort of like go within and to overthink or to dwell on things where I feel that there is some things that you could speak up on or that you could choose to talk about. So looking at if there's anything that you might be holding back on or if there's anything um, that's sort of like keeping you in a little bit of solitude, it might be looking at ways to get out and about. So let's just see what we have with this. All right. So we've got this card, which is the card of defeat. It's a little bit of what we were just describing to do with that energy. So let's pick a card for you. So I want to sort of like help to move past this energy too. So let's pick a card. Say that you're working on sort of like lifting the energy and starting to, um, to work with some of the things that we talked about. I'm just going to shuffle this back in. So say that we've got to a point. Another thing that I feel to look into with this as well um, is getting like your mineral levels checked and possibly looking at um, just dietary wise if there's anything nutritional that you might be missing out or if there's any you know like low magnesium or other things that involve like mood I think that could be worthwhile checking into so perhaps like an appointment with a naturopath um, or a doctor to check uh, nutritional levels all right so so this card feels like a little bit lighter. I'm seeing sort of like a little bit more, the word they're giving me is like a little bit more hope. I'm just gonna flip this. So this is about things sort of coming back into control and things kind of uh, appearing from a lighter place. So if we look at this compared to the last um, card, this is actually more of a card of being in balance and in power and kind of like keeping things at bay. So it's a card of words. It does have more of kind of like a Mars energy behind it, um, but it's like those those clogs are ticking, um, those wheels are turning. So it's a much more positive card. So really looking into how you can get yourself out there a little bit more and possibly looking into if there's anything nutritionally. All right, so let's have a look. Um, so Belinda, hello, would love guidance on work and career. All right, the other thing I start to see when we start to shuffle is I'm just seeing children around you. So whether it's like children at home, working with children, or even just um, being around children, that <laughs> it's just, just a little bit busy with that. Let me see. And blue around that. So communication around that. Or whether you're just a magnet for children, but I'm just seeing children. Okay, so what I'm feeling to do with this is I'm just feeling everything sort of going quiet. And it's interesting because we've had this for a few people. It's like there's this pause at the moment and an inner reflection to really have a chance to reassess where it is that you want to go in the future. And what I'm seeing to do with this is like a golden carpet that's like unrolling and being rolled out in front for you. And then what I'm seeing is like when you start to step on that carpet and you start to walk on that path, I'm seeing like different people greet you and it's almost like how you imagine a butler, you know, someone dressed in the the black suit with the white um, the white collar and the arm behind the back with the towel over the arm. And I'm just seeing it's like looking at how life can serve you. I really feel that it's about looking at things in a different way. So maybe even doing a meditation, visualizing this golden path and starting to reassess like what you would like to do to do with work and career because I do feel that there is um, a little bit of change or whether you've thought about like upgrading a job it just feels like that sort of energy and oh, this is interesting so we've got this card the card of the fool and I just posted a meme to do with this card the other day so what this can represent sometimes is that where we know that something's possibly not not the right decision but it's like we're like stuff it let's do it do it anyway so it could be about you know just having a change for the sake of change it's not always the best idea so really take stock on things to do with work and career at the moment and make a really heart and mind blended um uh, effort to see like what it is that you really feel is best for you or what it is that you think that you really want to do i'm just going to check our time um but yeah that's an interesting card to get all right, so let's have a look. Oh, the other thing is that's also could also mean opportunities that are passing. 
So it could be about not taking action to do with um, jobs and opportunities. So have a look at if there's any fears that are holding you back. Um, let's see. All right, Natalie, I would like to know if I will find my true love. Let's see. All right, so when I start to shuffle and tune into your energy, Natalie, what I'm actually taken to is like heart, but I feel like my heart sort of like sunk into my stomach or lower chest a little bit, but you just have such a beautiful um, romantic energy. Uh, it's really, it's lovely to see. It's lovely to see, you know, someone who believes in romance and believes in magic and, um, you know, that's quite a special thing. Never let that magic go either. So let's have a look into the cards. All right. So what I'm sort of feeling with this is I'm getting taken back into the past actually. And I feel like to do with the past, um, it feels like possibly having some relationships with people that there might not have been 100% uh, respect there, or there might have been um, you know, different situations that you've sort of got caught up into. Um, I feel like this is really about raising your standards to do with love as well and starting to look at different qualities that you might really want in a person. So perhaps writing a list of like what your ideal partner looks like. And there's a really good process where you can start to visualize what that partner looks like and feeling the energy come and meet your energy. And you can ask your higher self to go and meet their higher self. So it's so that you meet in the spirit uh, world first. Oops, I'm dropping card. Um, and then, you know, bringing that energy down into the physical. So let's have a look. So we've got two cards to do with this. Everything I'm sort of seeing is like white light and I feel like it's angelic energy coming in. So asking the angels to help to clear out some of the old because I still feel like there's a little bit of the past coming back into present. Um, let's see, so card wise, this is interesting. We've got this card to do with cruelty. I feel like this was sort of like symbolic possibly to do with some old partners in the past. And I really feel like we just want to put that away. We don't even want to entertain that energy. This is what I'm seeing to do with like towards the future. This is really about you getting in charge and writing a list of your ideal type. And I don't feel in this um, this card reading, and it is just keep in mind a mini reading, we do dive in and go a lot deeper in a one-on-one. -on -one. Um, this is cloaked in the energy of heart, this green, but this is more about learning. So at the moment, really looking at like learning your style, learning what personality types you like, learning um, you know what interests and things you like a partner to, to have. I really feel like it's more of a time for gathering uh, data and information around a partner at the moment. And then it's sort of like, once you do that, it's like you raise your standards and you start to then vibrate at more of that true love level in yourself and really connect to you yourself with self-love. And then that's going to help to draw in more of a, a higher frequency love to you. All right, Casey, let's pick a card to do with, you're saying that, um, that you feel that you've come to a roadblock at the moment. All right. This is interesting. One thing that I am feeling come up to do with this, the first thing that I'm seeing is around kind of like chest area and it feels like health is like a little bit of a block or a concern. So whether there's something around that, um, let me just check in. The other thing that I'm feeling just is that you have beautiful empath energy as well that um, you're quite sensitive yourself. So I'd even like recommend to, to look in and um, to really discover like that spiritual side because I do feel that you have a gift. Um, they are showing me things on a clairvoyant level as well. So whether it's about fine tuning that um, psychic vision, I feel like that that also could help you to move past your block because I do feel that you're seeing signs. Um, the other image that I'm seeing that is showing me to pay attention to like little birds and things at the moment um, in regards to like chirping or singing um, and just pay attention if there's more than usual is what they're showing me. So let's have a look with this. Card wise, all right. So the words that I'm hearing is it's a little bit about learning to help yourself. So what I'm seeing with this is it's like, all right, writing the block, like writing it out and looking at like when this started and looking at if there's anything that um, created it that was outside of you, looking at like your part in the puzzle. Um, but I'm seeing it's sort of like 
it's like an, a mental emotional clear up before moving into the future but I do feel like just chest wise like to keep a little eye on things um, this is interesting. So we've got this card, the card of the moon. This will sometimes come up to do with past lives. And I feel like what we were saying before to do with like being quite empathic and kind of working with um, like the psychic sort of light side of things. Oh, and we've only got a couple minutes left. I feel like to, to tap into this a bit more. I feel like this is what this card is saying, like looking at between heaven and earth um, and looking, you know, into this gateway and to bring through signs from the other world too. is not working. Hold on a second. Okay, Sana, hello. Um, it would be delightful to get some insights. This has been a huge shift last night and felt many new guides coming in. If there's anything that you could do, um, thank you, love. All right, let's pick from the Sacred Geometry deck. All right. All right, so what I'm actually seeing come in for you right now it's like almost like rainbow light beings. I'm just seeing all these multiple frequencies and codes and things starting to step in. And it almost feels like vibrating up and out of the physical body. I really feel that you're starting to work with um, a lot of really high uh, energies that are coming in. So the other thing is it's important to maintain grounding as well with this sort of energy. So let's have a look. But what I'm seeing is it's communication stepping into a different side of things. What I'm actually feeling with this is to capture it. Um, and by what I mean by that is like to capture that energy and to express it. So whether it's through like art or writing, I feel like there's a channeling aspect to, to getting this to almost like birth out. So it's like streaming these beautiful, gorgeous energies through you. I do feel that there is some writing and things involved. Um, oh, this is interesting. We've got the Antakarana, which um, the Antakarana is also another word for rainbow bridge. And it's funny because you've got the rainbow in that too. But um, it's really interesting because the Antakarana is the energy from the spirit world coming into the physical. So what I mean by that, it's the road that the soul travels down before we come to earth. Um, so in this picture is represented as a cube because it's sort of like solidified in the 3D. So this is what we were just talking about is bringing through this um, beautiful insights and this beautiful like energy that you're working with and really starting to kind of like lock them into a physical. So looking at how you can do it through writing, how you can do it through art, uh, music and things. And we're at the end of time. Thank you everyone so much for joining us. I hope that helped. Um, yeah, it's been lovely seeing you all on here. Um, and I wish I could answer all of your questions for anyone who did want more information. Um, I do have, uh, more information on my website. Oh, Beverly was saying hundred percent accurate. Thank you. Thank you, Beverly. Thank you everyone. Um, yeah, so more information on my website. So I'll read it Antaria. If you Google my name, look me up on Instagram, Facebook. We have also started a beautiful new Facebook group as well. Working with, if you type my name and type in um, psychic development, we'll also be looking at different things that are coming up daily, looking at different ways to work with psychic development, looking into dreams. Um, and it's just a beautiful space to connect with everyone and, um, you know, just to be in that held space and that held energy and surrounded by heart. But thank you so much, everyone. Have a good night and have a beautiful week. I'll see you next Thursday at six o'clock.